If you're regularly scheduling meetings with the same group of people, you could benefit from a calendar group, which makes the whole process of managing group meetings and events faster. Let's see how this feature can save you time. Starting on the Calendar Home ribbon, find the Calendar Groups button. Then click Create New Calendar Group. Give your group a name. In this example, My Team. Next, select the group members from the address book. Add them down below using the Group Members button. Once you click OK, you'll see the new group on the side, with the members listed underneath. You can now see the calendar for each person in the group along with your own. Checkboxes allow you to hide or show the calendar for each member, or the entire group. There are little arrows next to each calendar to toggle the overlay feature which combines calendars with your own. But if you're planning a meeting with several people, the calendar view can be kind of overwhelming when trying to find a good meeting time. There's another view that's easier on the eyes and works better for scheduling. In fact, it's called the Schedule View. This view shows everyone's schedule for a specific time. Along the side, there's a row for each group member's calendar, along with their availability. Busy times for each person is represented by colored bars. The grid represents time increments, and by default, these are 30-minute segments. The time segment grid can be changed by going to the View ribbon and choosing a different increment under the Time Scale button. Time to schedule a meeting. Pick the day you want from the calendar at the left, or navigate to a different day using the arrows above the schedule. On this day, the summary row above shows everyone's busy in the morning, but the afternoon's clear. One o'clock looks good. Create a meeting for everyone by dragging in the desired time in the summary row to select the duration for the meeting. Good. This one's an hour long, ending at 2. Either double-click or right-click the selection and choose New Meeting with All. This opens a meeting request, with everyone in the group automatically added as attendees. Now just fill out, send, and you've got your team meeting scheduled. One more note, if you don't need a group anymore, right-click on the side and choose Delete. Remember, since a group is just a view, deleting a group has no effect on events in your calendar or the members' calendars. Calendar groups, in combination with the schedule view, really simplify things when coordinating events with a team in Outlook 2013.